What's up, modern steaders? It's raining out, we got a fire going in the house. But we wanna get the metal roof on. Right now, I got you positioned in my pickup truck cap, so if that noise you hear sounds like rain on a tin roof, it's rain on my tin truck cap. So enjoy the ambiance. We're gonna be putting on the front tin, and then we're gonna be going inside and enjoying the rest of the lazy Sunday afternoon. It's noisy. <laughs> Double protection for that stuff. That stuff is noisy. Whew, I'm glad we're done with that. What I was using to cut that wood was just a, like a big wizard wheel, a cutoff wheel for a circular saw. Bought it the other day at Home Depot. I think it was like 227. That was a good investment. Let's show you guys the roof. Look at that. That's pretty nice, ain't it? Because when it gets hot out, the metal roof likes to condensate, and if you have tar paper underneath it, it's just going to drip on the chicken. So I just put the tin up there quickly. I didn't over screw it. I put about one to two screws in each little sheet of tin. 
That way if it wasn't square, I just had to go up there, back off one screw or two, and readjust the tin. Because tin's one of those things, if you don't put it up square, it can go dog teeth or it can go totally crooked. When you get to the other end, you'll see it running off. So you gotta make sure you start straight and end straight. So it's all tacked up in place. It's all nice and square. Now I'm just gonna go up and I'm gonna pre-drill the holes first. And then after that, I'm just gonna go right back up there with the tin screws and put the screws right in the tin and it'll be done. We got the front roof done, and we used a different kind of tin on the back. It's almost the same color. You probably won't be able to tell, and the style of the tin, I don't think you'd be able to tell the difference either. But we got it for a great price, so we can't complain about that, so. I wanted to thank you for hanging out with us today on this rainy, yucky day on the homestead. We're gonna go inside now and get dried off. The rain slowed down, but, but I'm all wet. Time to go in and enjoy the nice little fire. Even though we had some rain, I think we had a pretty productive day. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video. It really helps the channel grow. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.